Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick update to a situation that happened uh, yesterday actually. It's um, a situation that's rolling on. There was um, a first flaw that was discovered on uh, processor CPUs and uh, now yesterday it was discovered that a second flaw, uh, which is worse than the first one, was also discovered and it impacts every CPU that was made basically. Uh, from ARM with ARM architecture uh, from AMD and Intel. Now, yesterday, a lot of people were saying, oh, Intel, Intel. I even saw a post, somebody said, well, that's why I always buy AMD. Well, hey, surprise, you're also affected. Has nothing to do with who made the processor. So basically, uh, it's a big flaw that affects pretty much every PC, but also s most smartphones, uh, I mean, Mac computers are affected, Linux machines are affected. It is something that is very important. So Linux, for most versions, if you have a distro of Linux, that's the latest distro. For most of you, it is patched already. Mac OS has also patched it already. So if you're on the latest version of Mac OS 10, make sure you have the updates. Now on Windows, because it was disclosed, because this was a patch that was supposed to be downloaded to your machine in patch Tuesday of next week. But because yesterday all the information about it was disclosed online, that means bad guys will try to use this to, of course, uh, get control of your machines. So that means Microsoft was forced to push the update faster than usual. Now here's the thing, because the update was released around 7 p.m. Eastern time yesterday evening. And what's happening is that not all of you are seeing this update. And that's one very important thing to know. So basically, um, you are not necessarily having it. Um, I got it and it appeared as a uh, update called KB4056892, the one you see right here. Um, but if you have a third-party antivirus other than what you got on your, uh, then the Windows Defender that you've got with Windows 10, uh, this might not show up. There's some incompatibility with it and some antiviruses. So if you try Windows Update and you don't see KB4056892 show up, it's because something in your machine is not compatible with it. And I don't really recommend you installing it manually if it is so. I will still post the link to the manual download of the um, Microsoft Update Catalog in the description below the video if you want to get it. But like I said, if it doesn't show up, don't force it. Uh, one of the biggest things here is that um, if you force it, you risk having a blue screen on your computer and it won't boot up. So for those that have it, this is an update that fixes this flaw, this CPU flaw, but also fixes tons of little things. So you see here in the uh, improvements and fixes and everything, uh, there's all sorts of issues there. So KB4056892 for Windows 10. If you're on Windows 10 Fall Creators Update, you're on 16299.192, and if I look at my Windows version, you see it here, 16299.192. If you are on the Creators Update, you're on 15063.850, 15063.850. If you're on Windows 7 and Windows 8, you guys will get this only on Patch Tuesday of next week, not before. And for those that this update doesn't show up, um, basically, we're, Microsoft is waiting for the antivirus company that makes your third-party antivirus um, to basically make the fix to their um, software before they apply the patch because you'll get a blue screen if you do so. So that's the situation. Uh, if you've got it, check for it. Make sure that you install it if you've got it because it is a big flaw. And if you are not getting it, I don't think it's a good idea to install it personally. Uh, but I'm still putting the uh, Microsoft Update Catalog link in the description below the video where you'll be able to download it 
for your version of Windows 10 uh, 32 or 64 bits. So uh, security update situation a little in advance of patch Tuesday of next week. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you so much for following us on this channel.